Next few weeks, we'll start making some meaningful modifications. Not With the governor plans. announcing plans to reopen the state in phases, local counties are also making adjustments. There's a lot of pressure to, to open things up now. This week, Sacramento County extended its stay-at-home orders to May 22nd with some modifications. Starting this Friday, Sacramentans can visit their doctor or dentist for preventive and chronic health care. Non-contact sports like golf and tennis will be allowed, provided you practice social distancing and clean your equipment. Real estate sales can continue on an appointment-only basis, and food trucks will be considered essential businesses. We think by May 22nd, when this, when this new health order expires, we'll be ready to open a little bit more wide. But should you follow the state or the county's guidance? It's actually very simple. The governor's order is, is much less detailed than the county's. Whoever has a stricter order when it comes to a specific issue, generally the, the stricter order holds. So in Sacramento County, which has issued guidelines on no contact sports, while the state has not, residents should listen to the county. It's an evolving system that we're in now. Yolo County adjusted its stay at home orders to extend through May 31st. Residents will be able to participate in drive in faith services and continue some non essential construction, including housing. Yolo County is also continuing to ask that everyone wear face masks when they go out, an order that went into effect on Monday. We are obligated now to essentially follow what the state's order requires. So we're trying to be as consistent as we possibly can to eliminate some of the confusion. While Yolo County is working to reflect state guidance, the supervisor adds anyone with questions can get in touch with city or county offices as change remains constant in the fight against COVID-19. Reporting from Sacramento, Stephanie Lynn, KCRA 3 News.